Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I am the founder of LeanMedia.org, which includes lots of uh, advice about how to get the most out of uh, sh selling programs, whether it's Amazon KDP or Amazon Seller Central or WordPress or Shopify or whatever. Today, I am going to be talking about Shopify. And here's the situation. Um, I want to edit one of the products that I have on my Shopify store. This is the interface for my Shopify store. You can see I've had a, one sale today. And if you go on the left side of the interface, you will see you know, a whole bunch of different options that you can use. What I want to do is I want to edit one of the products and I'll show you which one it is. So go to products, here are all the products I have, and I want to edit this one. Uh, new dog health activity and genealogy forms kit, 21 sheets. This little eyeball here lets you see what the page looks like. So let's take a look at that. All right, so here is this particular product. Um, here's the store. Here's my store logo. You know, if you click on the picture, you can see more about it. You can see what's inside. I have all these things. That's great. The pictures actually are pretty good. I spent a long time on that. Uh, but what I want to fix is some of the text on the page. So for instance, it said new uh, dog health activity and genealogy forms kit. Well, this was new four months ago. So I want to get rid of that in the headline. I also want to get rid of the new here. And maybe there's some other changes I want to make as well. And let's see how to edit that. So I'm going to click out of this. And I'm just going to, in products, in the Shopify interface, I'm going to click on the name of the product. And it will immediately present me with options to edit it. So I just told you I'm going to be removing new. So let's do that right now. And you know, th this may seem like a pretty basic thing to some people, but to others, they may be worried that, oh, uh, if I delete something, is it going to mess up my, my uh, Shopify store? And generally, the answer is no. Um, if you delete like a, a bit of text, uh, that's not a problem. If I deleted the whole title, that would be a problem. So you have to be really careful about what you delete. But if it's just, you know, changing a word here or there, that's not a big deal. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete new there. If I want to, I want to, if I want to change some text, some simple text, I can do that too. So for instance, let's say I just want to uh, use, delete the exclamation point, use a period instead. I can do that. Or if I want to change dog to furry friend, you know, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do. So I'm just editing the text here. Other people may need to edit other stuff. So for instance, the, you know, they want to edit the pictures. Maybe they want to edit the pricing, something like that. They can do that too. I'm just editing the text. And actually, let's just change the price too. I'm going to lower this by a dollar. But I'm going to say compare at price. So it looks like the first they're getting a dollar off. That's pretty good. I don't use cost per item. That's an optional thing. Um, and then I have charge tax on this product because uh, according to according to the the laws of the state that I reside in, I have to I have to uh, charge sales tax for people that live in my state. And Shopify will automatically set that up once I deter once I tell them what state I'm in. Okay. I can also do things like change the weight um, and other things. Okay, so that looks good. The uh, search engine listing preview looks good too. I'm just going to hit save. Okay. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Now you'll see the new is gone. It used to be new in the title and new down here, that's gone. And I also changed the price. So it says the it's $18.99 and the compare at price is $19.99. This is exactly what I wanted. For more information on how to get the most out of your Shopify store or Amazon, whether it's Amazon Seller, Amazon KDP or some other a program that you're using, maybe even WordPress, uh, check out my site, leanmedia.org. And thank you so much for watching.